You guys ready to do some uh, boot, boot camp work here? Huh? Okay, how many guys were here at the Massachusetts or Connecticut uh, clinic this summer? Raise your hand high. How many guys have never seen me teach? Whoa, that's not good. Because we're gonna move fit, we're gonna move real quick uh, this session. Two hours of top technique, two hours of scrambling next session. Um, you guys all right with that? Okay. Too bad anyway. Uh, okay, so with that said, I got a lot of technique to do in two hours, and I want to drill you hard for the last half hour. So really we're doing about an hour and a half of technique. Uh, so you're gonna have we're gonna move quick, real quick. Usually when I teach a clinic, we, we go riding on top right away. We're not going to do that. We're going we're gonna to go right, that, right down into throwing boots in, turning guys with the figure four, power half, wrist half, tight waist tilt, and uh, a few other little, little uh, uh, claw and, and what have you. Right? So he's broken down. We've got it broken down already. Uh, again, guys, really I, I tend to spend about a couple hours when I do a weekend boot camp on just breaking a guy down and being able to ride him because my father when I was in high school he didn't allow me to throw the boots in until I was in seven uh, till I was in high school All right? and the reason why was because he felt like if you couldn't hold a guy down uh, or ride him or effectively break him down then throwing in the boots and all that is, is really a, a waste of time I mean if you can't ride a guy and pin him down you're not going to turn him with the boots you understand Okay, so with that said, when I, when I, uh, there's three ways to get in the boots from here that I use, okay? One is reaching across, crushing his fingers here, almost dislocating his wrist, pulling it in, pulling it under, lift, boot in. Second one, um, I'm going to go high gut, this is freestyle, high gut, take one side, pull, maybe get my 90, maybe not, boots in. All right, and then we're going to do uh, boots from you know uh, tight waist tail and all that too. But those are the two main ways that I get the boot in. All right. Also, a real good one in freestyle is fake the crotch lift. He turns down, boots in. One more time. Fake crotch lift, boots in. Come up. Figure four. All right. Let's go uh, 90 degrees here. 90 degrees. All right, and break down. When I throw the boot in, the only thing that you should be seeing is the tread of your shoe. All right, I see a lot of guys throwing boot in and they're, and they're coming here, and that's okay. But guess what? We're not we're not um, locking out his hips. And that's the whole concept here on why we're going to turn the guys because we're locking his hips out. So I go shallow boot, barely see the tread, over far shoulder, and then what I'm going to do is a leg curl to here. That is a figure four to the leg. How many people, and be honest with me, how many people have never figure four to the leg before? Well, probably over half of you. That's fine. Once I get here, I'm going to bring my knee out. That is locking out the hip, so what I want you to do is turn your hip down. See how he can't? And I can sit here and put some sun lotion on and get a tan and, or what have you. Sit, sit around all day in this position. All right. But if I throw a boot in too deep, and I try to figure four, keep you, see that? And that's another thing. What did I not do there? Right, what did I, even if I have this thing locked up tight, if he hips me down, if I don't bring my knee out, he's hitting me down. And then that happens. So what I do is, I slide my knee out, and the inside of my knee is going to be on the mat. My toes on the mat, ready to pounce and turn it. Okay? So one more time. I know we're moving fast, but that's the whole idea for this first session. Okay? I guess we didn't even warm up, did we? All right, that's, that's all you guys. Warm up on your own, okay? If you get hurt, it's not my fault. Okay? All right, high gut or wrist, reach across, dislocate the wrist, pull it under. Uh, if, you, if you want to go two on one, boom, boots in. Shallow boot, leg curl. Why do I do a leg curl? If I go like that, see that? And also, it's loose in there. See my hand? If, I, if you get there, then put your foot on the mat, slide your knee up under his armpit, leg curl. I can't even get a finger through there. Now I bring my knee out, and I'm ready to go. 
You guys got it? So uh, three ways to get the boot in. What are they? Crotch lift, boot in. Cross wrist, pull the boot in. Ends up being an inside wrist. High gut. Got it? Those are three ways in. Then once you get the boot in, lock it up. High, uh, barely should see the tread on your shoe. Leg curl, foot behind the knee, making a what? That's why they call it figure four, just so you know. Go.